With product update 241, it becomes easier to do more in Exact Synergy from MS Outlook. An Exact Synergy Enterprise Toolbar menu has been added, which allows users to easily access Synergy information as well as execute Synergy functionality without opening their Synergy Environment web page. This is especially useful for employee self service users who may not be accustomed to working directly in Synergy, and also for new users who are comfortable using Outlook as their primary organizing tool. Let's look at an example of how the toolbar could be used. April receives an email from Frank, an employee of a partner organization, asking about a support request raised by one of her accounts. Without leaving Outlook, she can quickly bring up the account. The same search box can be used to search for different types of information in Exact Synergy Enterprise. The type of search can be selected from the drop-down list. The icon to the left of the search box indicates what type of information will be searched. The customer card for ABC Company is then displayed in the Outlook pane. April can immediately see that the issue has been resolved. She can also drill down to see all related requests if necessary. April returns to Frank's open email to quickly reply to him. Before sending, she can save the reply in Exact Synergy Enterprise. Using the Quick Save options saves the email according to the default specified in the settings. Choosing Save As gives her more options about how she wants to save the mail. The fields which appear under Main Fields are determined by the document type. Per document type, the mandatory fields and corporate tags will appear in the Main Fields section. If a field is not mandatory for the selected document type, it will appear in the Additional Fields section. Note that the correct account will automatically be linked if the email address is recognized in Synergy. When the follow-up via request checkbox is enabled, the request screen will appear immediately after saving the email. The tick mark in front of the message indicates that this message has been saved to Exact Synergy Enterprise. When reopened, the associated Synergy document can also be quickly accessed again. Notice that when the highlighted email has already been uploaded, the Quick Save button is grayed out. Notice too that when you save an email address to multiple contacts, both of whom are registered in Synergy, then the system will prompt you that there are two known recipients. In all the other Office applications, the Exact Synergy Enterprise Logon icon appears on the MS Home ribbon. Once logged in, the Logon icon is replaced with some quick options on the Home ribbon. Click the Exact Synergy Enterprise tab for additional functionality. The Mail Merge functionality has been made more user-friendly. Here you see the steps necessary for creating a Mail Merge document. When you click on the first step, a pane with the mail merge fields appears which is neatly grouped in sections. Clicking on a section header reveals the related fields which can then be dragged and dropped to the appropriate place in the document. Office documents can be saved quickly by clicking the Save button or using the Save As option to change the defaults or add more information. Just like we saw in the Outlook Save As screen, the mandatory fields specified in the selected document type appear under the main fields heading. You can also choose to immediately generate a request related to the document you're uploading. The request screen automatically pops up after the document is saved. Click the View button at any time to open the related Synergy document. PowerPoint presentations are now automatically saved as one attachment. A link is established in the local copy of the document when it's been saved in Exact Synergy Enterprise. So if you open a local copy to do some further editing, you can save it quickly over top of the document in Synergy by clicking the Save button. Or if you open the Save As dialog box, you can choose to save it as a new document or replace the existing document. 
In Excel, it's now possible to launch the Accounts Import Wizard directly from the Exact Synergy Enterprise ribbon. Two tabs under Preferences relate to Office Integration. The Corporate Office Integration settings are set by the Database Administrator. The settings entered related to each program serve as the default settings for the entire company. The settings under the Office Integration tab are user-specific. Here, each user can set their own preferences to override the corporate defaults. Notice that it's possible to set defaults at the field level. These preferences can now also be set directly from any of the MS Office 2007 applications. By clicking the Preference button on the Exact Synergy Enterprise ribbon, which directly opens up the same preference screen seen in Exact Synergy Enterprise. In Outlook, you also have a Menu option under Preferences. This launches the Menu tab of the Exact Synergy Enterprise Preferences. The selection made here not only determines what appears in your Exact Synergy Enterprise menus, but also what options appear on the Exact Synergy Enterprise Outlook toolbar and under the Exact Synergy Enterprise menu. The new Synergy Office Integration application can be installed directly from the Preference screen on the General tab. Please note that the new application will only work with MS Office 2007. The existing Office add-in remains active for users who are working with earlier versions of Office. However, users should make a choice between the two and deinstall the Office add-in before installing the Synergy Office Integration application. Notice that the installation is now carried out using an MSI file. An installation wizard walks you through the installation steps. When prompted, enter the exact Synergy Enterprise address. This is the Synergy environment which you are working in. It's a part of the address where you access Synergy, as shown here. Please note that if you need to deinstall the Synergy Office Integration application, you now need to do it from the Add Remove Programs function on your control panel.